Hi, this is Barbara Stavens. Welcome to my kitchen. Today is part two of the filio dough. And over here, I have the prepared filio dough, and it's been in the refrigerator overnight. And so we're going to put it on the floured board, and we're going to roll it out so it's long, because uh, you need to separate this into 10 pieces. And, let's see, I did have a knife over here, but I guess I moved my knife. Make it long. Long and even. As even as you can. My knife. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to get nine pieces out of it. Okay, nine. Nine's better than one. <laughs> All right. So we have this one piece we're going to work with. We're going to flour it. And we're going to roll it. And then we're going to put it into the pasta machine. And we're going to start it at number one. Let me get here on the side. And you have to go through all nine stages because you want it to get become the thickness of uh, a sheet of paper. This might take a long time to do, it seems, but. Um, I think when we come out with the finished product, we're really going to um, have a really nice feeling of it. It's starting to get really super thin now. Um, at this point, I think I'm going to need to put uh, more flour on it because it's not just um, it's not just thin, but it's starting to feel a little sticky. So, I'm going to come back over here, lay it on the flour, and, and dust it a little bit here, like this here. Just dust it, because I don't want it to get stuck in the rings as it's going through. All right, here we go. And this is now, I think at number... Seven. It's getting thin. And you want to get it up to number nine. <laughs> oh, it's already very, very thin. This here actually only goes up to number eight. So I guess that's about all I can get. Here we are. It's very, very thin, paper thin, as you can see. Very thin. Now, I'm going to bring it over here and partially put it onto my board. I'm going to, this is my pie plate, and I'm going to measure it because I'm going to come across. And I'm going to cut this here. 
like so. All right, now what you want to do is you want to take a little melted butter and you want to brush it on. And then we're going to set it into the dish. However you want it, it hangs really nice. Just hang it over. You don't need it hanging all the way over, but as you can see how I've started it. And just pull it up. It works very nice. We can fix it all later. Okay, that's the beginning. All right. Take another piece. And we'll just cut this along here. I'm gonna butter it. And eventually I'm going to layer this. It's going to be layered and layered and layered because that's what's going to give it the nice, crunchy texture that we all love. All right, so take another piece and roll it out. Again, make sure we have enough flour on here. <clears throat> kind of come over and put it at its largest. Number one, turn it back on. Whoa. Slow down, Nelly. Skip the notch, but that's okay. Okay, six. I feel like it needs a little more flour, and I can actually even. Uh, Nicely. Dust it a little bit. I'm going to cut it in half since I have to go through two more settings. Number seven. Another, it's gotten.